All right. Once again, still the same day. I decided to go for another video. I think why I'm recording so much right now is a combination between the fact that I'm actually ahead in the Ori series uh, as of right now. I have I did one recording session, but from that I got three episodes. And uh, maybe somewhere in my head I'm like, well, I got to catch up to those Ori episodes. So maybe that's what I'm doing. But uh, I'm also liking playing this. I'm really on a roll. I also have a lot of free time today. I was able to get a lot of my homework done. Uh, and then I have stuff scheduled. I have stuff scheduled out to study later. I think I want to freeze this district, though. Uh, blocks unrest from rising in target district for two days. I want to do that for this one because I don't want it to go to four because I'm going to do this mission right here. We're right back into it, too. Sorry. Welcome back. I'm King of Batting. Forgot to do the intro the proper way because I've been recording for a few... A few I've done three episodes. This is the third episode back to back. But yeah, we're getting into this one. I don't think we can afford to upgrade any more field teams. Now it's going to cost 100. And that was going to cost 100 too, right? Okay. Um, this time I got up and took out the recycling. And then checked the time too. Because the place I want to get my dinner from today is still closed until 5 p.m. So I have time to record. By the time I finish this, they'll be open and I have time to just drive over, get my food, come back and chill for the rest of the day. I also have laundry to put away, but who's talking about that? All right, let's get into it. We already set the um, set up everything for it, for this mission. We have our two epic weapons, two of the three epic weapons that we have now actually are set up. Can I put Cherub on the team? Is Cherub available to grab? Can I switch the agent? I don't think I can. That's kind of annoying, because I could have done three epics on one team. I didn't think about that before I started it. But then who would I have pulled off? Because Claymore's been kind of kind of working with the team very well. He's got the ability that forces them to fall back. Oh, that's glitched. Has the ability that forces them to fall back, which is helping out a lot. And then his repeated use of grenades is also doing pretty good. But I might be screwing myself over by using all of these same... Um, using the same team team members because now my other ones are going to be lower hmm <laughs> i don't know i feel like it's going to work out i think i have i think i have it under control i think we're doing pretty good so far sacred coil claimed these apartments as territory the hybrid residents disagreed take down this glorified protection racket the people who live here deserve better than sacred coil yes yes property damage to a minimum you can all stop looking at me <laughs> I was hoping to say, I'm pretty sure Claymore's going to blow some shit up in here. Alright, all the non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance will be surprised. Last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Do we have anyone whose weapon we're okay with being disabled? Patchworks will be the one that we're most okay with. Uh, units automatically activate Overwatch through this breach point. Um... If agent damage is likely through all of these points, then I want to do this one. That way we can negate some of their effects. Then we'll come in with terminal. Actually, I want to put patchwork second because I'm making sure it'll come earlier in the turn order. This is a two encounter, so I'm okay with using the hollow scanner first, which has also been helping out a lot too. The uh, hollow scanner and Godmother will come last. Uh, yeah. That way, if we have a turret or anything in there, we'll be able to hack Opening it faster with patchwork. Door. That's why I wanted to bring her up in the turn order. Ruptured. Okay, cool. Not sure what Ruptured does still. Okay. Come on, buddy. You got it. Hmm. Don't crash? Alright, there we go. So, it says that they're Ruptured, which I wish would tell me what it did. Actually, can I check? Hang on. No, I can't check that right now. But we'll take this enemy out. Unconscious. Patchwork. Has a chance to take this android out. And it's not a bad chance either. Okay. It didn't work out. But that's fine. We'll do some damage to the... Guardian. We'll attempt to do some damage to the Guardian. Let's not say like it's for sure yet. And you have a chance to do something to a lot of these people. You could potentially take the guardian now. You do five to six damage or five to seven damage now. Uh, if you roll low, as long as you hit, you will kill. Because if you roll low, the five damage should still kill. 
Damn it. All right. That's not, well, I mean, she missed the shot and then got shot in the stomach too. So maybe that is pretty bad. Here they come with the shield. That's why I try to target them usually. I didn't target them as strictly this time. All right, so Claymore's turn is first. I cannot throw a grenade over there towards those two because we have this Muton in the way. Well, not in the way, but he's in the area. So we can we can get both of those. Explosive out. Able to detonate. Say the word. We're not gonna detonate it manually. I think not detonating manually is better than doing it manually. This will do four to five damage. And shred armor? Yeah, and it shreds armor. I think if we take him out, it should take out the shields. So that's why I want to do this. Mm. Mm. Who's number two? It is the Guardian. I have 87% on them. That's not bad. Of course, we still missed the shot. But the two damage is fine, I guess. What are you finna do? If you stay right there, I'm Sorry actually fine with that. Okay, I'm not fine Fear with that not. though. I am still up. Prime self destruct. Forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. It didn't get nice any closer. Strike, okay, so those were both ruptured, and that thing lost its shield. Mm, I can use reprogram on you. Let's see. Okay, we did get it. And I kind of want to run that thing up there to try and get those. I didn't do it on the turrets because I feel like the turrets have a less less of a range. And then we're going to aim target the purifier with this uh, chain joke because it's definitely going to uh, chain over and kill the uh, guardian. Yeah. What does she have? Oh, banish. I forgot about it. She and Godmother have special things with their weapons. Radio Overwatch, and that means that number three is also going to have to go to Radio Overwatch. Because they're just as far away. Shoots. You have a 90% chance you deal 4 to 6 damage. The possibility to take them out is fairly high, so we're going to go for it. Yeah, okay. You see that? They're going to go into Radio Overwatch. It's Godmother's turn. Why does she have to reload? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reload on her then. This thing heals up to six HP. Does not affect robotic allies. I could throw an acid grenade. I don't need to do any of that actually. I think I'm just gonna. Can she get all the way up there? She can, and she'll have cover here. So I'm gonna do that. That way we can secure this extra um cache of resources. All right. It's his turn. We'll, throw, we'll drop another shrapnel grenade right there. Shrapnel there's out. there's no reason to not do it. We I did blast that. out that wall even though we were uh, trying not to do that. These things are ruptured again. Still not... Oh, that's what I was trying to check. Uh, UXCOM handbook, armor assembly, city 31, uh, dark events, equip, equipping agents, uh, drag, no weapons. Agent abilities, breeding, uh, breach point encounter and healing, multiple breach points, preparation special, breach points, uh, mental, miscellaneous, what is this, rooted, uh, rupture, take additional damage during attacks, that's, okay, that's what rupture does, you know what levitate weapon is, it will root, mark, hollow, to a stun, disoriented, aim penalty, and unable to perform many abilities, Will act unpredictably and could potentially attack a friendly unit. Will attack a nearby unit, friend or foe. I think that's at the friend or foe thing because of the um the chrysalids. Because I haven't encountered that yet. All right. I think that's the only thing that I need to, that I didn't know and can shroud it. Bonus to defense, harder to hit and dodge, less damage taken when hit. Okay, so cool. We know what rupture does now. It increases the amount of damage that we deal to those enemies, which means that. Why would we? Okay, never mind. I have a present for you. It's gonna do that, and then detonate. Oh, we got them both. All right, cool. Then I didn't have to. I was gonna run the um, the android up there to deal the extra damage that it would do when it exploded. Secret coil turned this workshop into a weapons lab. 
They're using the residents as forced labor. Damn. It's not just weapons. There's some specialized tooling here. Don't know what it's for. Interesting. Maybe we'll get something else special out of this. First unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. That would be good to have for... Um... Axiom. To send Axiom through there. Because he also gets plus one armor for the encounter. Yeah, that would be a perfect room for it. Uh... Axiom. Seal the deal. Uh, I think Terminal's gonna seal it for us this time. She does have the scope. Oh, never mind that. I don't want her to go last. Godmother. So we'll put Terminal here. She was gonna use Refresh, and then Godmother's gonna go last and seal it for us. Uh, there are fewer aggressive enemies from this point, though. Ready to go. That's probably the only issue here. I think, I think actually there is only one enemy there, because it said it right another there. Another way in. So that's kind of annoying, actually. Maybe this wasn't the best entrance to take. Never mind, there's two enemies there that we could potentially shoot at. We better be able to hit that crystal. That's all I'm saying. It's right there in front of us. That's annoying. We can see that crystal standing there. Alright, chaining jolt. That's only going to hit one there. It's only going to hit one there. Uh, banish. Fire at a target until your turn out of... Until you run out of ammo or it dies. Interesting. We could take the crystal out of this way. One shot. Okay, cool. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's a one once per uh, turn thing though. Oh, we can probably we might be able to reprogram that. Tempo surge. Hmm. That's annoying. Enough of that, jackass. And he, she's ruptured, so she's gonna take more damage. And then they ran away. Interesting. That's okay. So that's like their um their version of damn. Hold up. What's her name? But Zypher. That's their version of Zypher. Okay. We'll set this at the entrance. Can we get a little further in? Yeah. The Ronin. Are, are there two Ronin? They're not. They just get a turn more often than anything else. 97% chance to hit. I could drop a plasma grenade on them too, but then I'm just going to be blowing up their bed for no reason. But also the Ronin's this close to us. Hmm. It's going to do plasma that much damage out. too. Okay, it only did the 4 damage, which is kind of annoying, but that means that... He can kill if he does max damage here. He did not. So, and I also opened up the door for them to come through, which is another issue that I'm going to have. That's, yeah, that, that's an issue. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely turned up out of nowhere. Okay, cooperation on patchwork. And let's see if we can steal this, um... Oh shit, it's still on cooldown, damn. That's not terrible, though. Yeah, because we can take this Ronin out. So that well way, because it has too frequent of turns to, uh, to allow it to stay up. Clean hit. Safeguard can go on him, because he has so much damage lost right now. Wonderful. And then we'll have to deal with whatever chrysalis comes up. It's probably going to only be able to hit patchwork, so... Ooh. It didn't connect. That's pretty good. I do I do enjoy that. Ventilation. Fire the shotgun blast that is a guaranteed hit and destroys the target's cover. I guess they don't have cover right now, so... There's that. I could use this on herself. And she's back to full health. We could take this thing out for sure. Then we'd have to deal only have one crystal to deal with. Oh, it shoots three times. Oh, it broke her arm. It did break that. It didn't say it was going to at first. So I didn't think. Fuck! Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, it didn't say it was going to break her armor at first. So that's why I thought she would be fine. Reprogram still has a cooldown, but I think giving her that turn did increase. Or decrease the cooldown. We need to spread out some. I'm so we'll do this. Chaining Jolt on the 
Ooh, eats a nine damage. Oh, because it's ruptured, so it has that increased damage on it. A turn code grenade will probably not help us because they're gonna target. It's going to target a living creature, and those two are not living. Okay, chaining joke. We just have to clear the living quarters. Overloading target. All right. Yeah. See, that's why I want to keep Patrick in on the team. She's definitely more useful here. That thing. Fuck. It's gonna blow up, isn't it? Yeah. These explosives are really getting us right now. This will go off right before that thing's turn, so that's gonna be helpful. And it's ruptured too, so it's gonna take more damage from that. And we're going to. Those two have taken too much damage. I should have spread them out on. Uh... I should have moved Godmother over. That way they became less of a target. Um, we're going to heal. Yes. He's definitely taking more of the damage. He's also lost his armor, so he's going to start taking more damage than he usually would have. But throw a frag grenade. We can't... Hold up. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. I was going to say, he can't see into there? No, it's not his turn. Or, yeah, no, it's not his turn. Want to give this Overwatch just in case that Chrysalid doesn't die? Or move her up here. She has the free reload, which is why I was trying to save it. Reloaded. And then we're going to. This is an acid grenade, which is going to be useful right there, since it's going to do the damage over Throwing time grenade. also. Okay. Oh, grenades detonate those things. Survive the onslaught. I had a feeling it was going to give us an onslaught, but I was just hoping that it wouldn't. So we have... We're not in a good position, actually. Actually, that acid is in a good position, though. We'll put Godmother and Overwatch over this door. And then we'll put... We want to spread out some. So I'll put Patchwork over here. Have her Overwatch. This entrance. I need to reload. Claymore needs to reload, so we're going to drop one of these over. Where's the. Uh, we won't tell us? Okay. We'll drop one of these in there just in case. You know, you never know. Actually, that's, that's the reason why I'm dropping it in there. You never know. So get that in there. The rupture effect doesn't mean anything. And then have him reload. Ammunition topped off. And then it's going to be her turn. She's still ruptured. Um, but we're gonna have it heal them. And this is gonna, ooh, I should have moved her from that spot actually. Cause she's right where they're finna come in at. And she might not be able to get the whole area with her overwatch. Yeah, she definitely can't. She'll only get one of the two spots, it looks like. I think that red area, oh, there it is. I'll shoot anything that moves. You gotta find the, the sweet spot. Don't miss. Okay, I'm fine Can't with that. As long as she didn't miss, I really don't care. I'm a duck. No good. Okay. So, ventilator still on cooldown. Flush, will it hit both of them? It won't. Not flush, scatter shot. Oh, she has running gun now. That doesn't really mean anything for us, though. I don't know why she has running gun, though. Maybe it comes from her gun. I think it actually probably does. Oh, that would make sense. That way she can dash in and take a shot and kill something. So that makes more sense. Definitely for a... Um, for a shotgun, too. Getting, being able to get up close and doing that damage. Patrick might be able to take that uh, android, which I'm definitely going to try and do. I'm going to get it right up and close to this thing. Hopefully we can get yeah a good crit chance, too. Maybe we can take this thing out right away. Or deal the lowest amount of damage we possibly could. Uh, reprogram on this thing. 83% chance, that's pretty good. Okay, we got it. And we still have the turn code grenade also. But we don't need to worry about that right now. Chaining Jolt, not on you. You're on our team now. We use Chaining Jolts on them. We get it back every turn, so it doesn't matter. The target. It's not going to deal any damage Something to Godmother. Up. And then we can use Subdue right no can't use subdue how much how likely did it hit we're going to put you right next to it and take that shot 
which should now be 100%. 72? It has a shield, damn. Damn. That's annoying. Alright, well. We can use team up and bring... We can use team up and bring patchwork. No, godmother. Up in the turn order. And then... Can you hit? No, not that. God damn. Alright, well. Again, I'm gonna drop this right by that entrance. Throwing shrapnel. Just in case. And then we're gonna have you overwatch. Yeah, because terminal doesn't get her turn before then. And we don't have an angle on that, so I guess we will just watch this zone. one. Doesn't make sense actually. We did just He's have stuff come through here. Um, so that was probably the bad, excuse me, that was probably a bad move on my part. Um, I don't know what this thing is going to do. It's probably going to give itself a shield since it's so low on health. I don't need it doing anything else, so we might as well just take it out. That blew up before the turn, I didn't check that. These two are going to walk in and be right on terminal. Okay, and terminal is still ruptured too. Okay, we'll use, hmm... You can drop a frag on them, which will shred their armor. Or we can drop it on them, but that's going to also do damage to us. Frag out. Their armor got shredded. Okay. You can use safeguard on yourself. Uh, why does it have those... I don't know why it has the two highlighted right there it does that for someone else also well not that i saw when i was playing by myself which y'all will see whenever we get to that point with them oh we might be able to take them out if they oh yeah we do want to try and take them out actually because they could potentially activate themselves and then detonate uh in the same turn mm, mm, mm. so we didn't want to see that okay can i use vanish again i cannot that's a, that's a one turn thing. I probably should have checked that before I just went ahead and did it. Well, we have a lot of increased chance to hit here, so we're going to take the shot instead of the, uh, what you call it. And we're going to get real close to him. No, there's no point in doing that. Oh, we only have him for three turns, or them for three turns, I guess, since it is a robot. We'll move it out here. We don't care about it as much. I'm fine with trying to use it basically as a distraction and a kill, too, so... It's still hacked. I think we have one more turn with it. Well, stuff came through both of those, so maybe overwatching this door is going to be our best option here. And then I'm going to have Godmother... I'm having to get on the other side of this. That way she has a little bit of cover when something comes through. And then, uh... Overwatch? Overwatch? Overwatch. That should cover everything, right? Yeah, okay. Good thing. Take him out immediately. Do it. Cool. That was an interesting sound, too. And you made it through without any problems, which is annoying, but eh, whatever. We'll team up with, or we'll use cooperation with Godmother to take another shot on not you, but them. 100% chance, pretty high chance to crit also. Uh, again, dealing the lowest amount of damage possible. And we're going to go ahead and take out the, um, the android, just so it doesn't switch back on us. I'm running low on ammo. She is running low on ammo, but this is the last thing we have to do, right? Is just kill this dude. So everything can drain their, their clips onto him. And yeah, the training right. paid off. Yeah, it did. It, well, actually, I don't know if she's been in through training, has she? Everyone's likely wounded. That's not the best. We still haven't seen any scars yet. From five captured enemies, you have earned 20 intel. Okay, so at a certain point, it just does just give you the 20 intel. So that's good to know now. We still haven't encountered a scar. Uh, hopefully, we don't encounter a scar yet. Yeah, we're still good. Minus two there, 55, 40 intel, 20 intel earned from that. Axiom's basic training Excellent is done. Work. City 31 sees the true face of Sacred Coil, and they don't like it. 
Okay. Sacred Coil has access to fit out and field more android soldiers. Sacred Coil has managed to recruit a sizable number of Andromeda to their cause. I don't want to see the Andromeda, so we're going to go with this dark event. Because we're fine with more android soldiers since um, we're pretty good with taking them over or just taking them out since they're not that strong. Unless that means the well, the battle, the mechs and the androids are labeled as two different things. So hopefully that is different. Reclamation has confirmed reports of Andromedons spotted in the sewers. Meeting with Sacred Coil City 31's Andromeda Sanctuary claims no knowledge. Find out more. Find out for certain before the this blows up in our faces or city 31 interesting i think it did this last time too city 31 became the world's only source for androids after retooling advent mech factories sacred core has been sniffing around there for the past week find out why but then they will get andromeda if i do this one i don't want them to have andromeda andromedons i'm not really sure what an andromedon is or why they're in a specific sanctuary um yeah, oh, promotion for her too. She's definitely finna stay on the team for a while. Alright, Patrick sends a, the Gremlin to place the target into a stasis for one turn. The unit cannot attack, but it's immune to all damage. Can be used on allies and enemies. Stasis field has a two turn, turn cooldown. Interesting. I'm not sure how I'm gonna work that into my my playstyle, tactically at least. So Axiom's done in there. Does anyone else have anything? I know these two don't because I just finished with both of them. Is it time to bring Terminal out for her training? I think so. Utility slot increased by one. Yeah. It's time to get her training. Which... Reclamation has unconfirmed reports of Andromedon spotted in the sewers, meeting with Sacred Coil. City 31's Andromedon Sanctuary claims no knowledge. Find out for certain before this blows up in our faces. Okay, I guess I read what she was going to tell us anyways. All right. So now I think it's time to bring Cheryl back on the team. Never mind. Uh, I think it's time to put Axiom back on the team. Now that he has that extra bit of health, which is going to help him in how he plays anyways. So okay. Okay, he's still doing that. He's going to get us. He's going to bring down the district unrest in all districts. We almost have our master crafted armor, which means we can probably... Well, not probably. Soon be able to dump off some of this, uh, these credits. And then we're going to go straight into... Master shotguns, master crafted shotguns, because we have what three people with shotguns. It's been a while since Zypher's been out on a mission, too. I'm just scared to have her have something blow up next to her since she's always so close to the enemy. Um, the fringe is still up pretty high. We have Dragnet again. Dragnet, I don't even know how I said Dragnet, but hmm. The issue here is this one's going to go to 3 if we don't do anything there. We have 150 intel, which means we can go up to level 2. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go up to level 2 for... Security is what gives us intel, right? It is. So we'll do that. Plus 40 intel. And then we have 50 intel remaining. The scavenger market's here. Should have checked this first. Oh, I definitely should have checked this first. Grants the lightning cans ability. Well, we don't need another pistol because we don't even we barely use the guy who has a pistol now. Hmm. Alright. So the Illyrium is probably what's gonna start running low for us. Um so we'll do this one. What time is it? 28. Yeah, we'll probably do another mission. But I need to do something else real quick. Alright, so this says, during a routine bus, 31PD uncovered a strange device that falls within our mandate, and they're politely anxious to take it. Alright, so, I mean, we can go ahead and do this. I think we had everything set up right. Sacred Coil is led by Bellis Mar, a former Advent commander. He was never apprehended after the war. As far as we know, he's still fighting it. We believe he had some responsibility for the Bugtown Massacre. Consider Bellis Mar highly motivated and extremely dangerous. Interesting. Uh, Director? I'm one of Bellis Mar's clones. I know. Do you have any concerns? No. But do you? Does the squad? Cherub. He has tens of thousands of clones. The only thing you share with him is DNA. 
Okay. I mean, I know that, but thank you. I mean, is that you better not have any doubts now because he's finna go on this next mission. This boy's been sitting. Never mind, I keep forgetting he's not on the mission. Not enjoying the office picnic? It's fine, but there's nothing I can eat. Not even my famous egg salad? Chicken eggs are poison to sectoids. Why not try a not dog? Do you mean hot dog? Hot dogs are also poison. No, not dogs. Delicious, nutritious, and entirely digestible no matter where you're from. Even me? Of course, my mutant friend. Not dogs are for everyone. Whether you're from Earth or outer space, you can jam a not dog in your face. I'll have a not dog. Me too. Three for me. Not dogs are an approved source of fiber for all signatory species of the 2036 Accords. Exoterrestrials should consume no more than one packet of not dogs per week without express permission from accredited gene therapists. Do not store not dogs in direct sunlight. Not dogs that turn the human perceptible color blue should be discarded immediately. Food life. One feet, one future. So knowing we had to do that to uh, bring down the unrest since it was so high. I don't know why it jumped up so high. I can't remember if it was low just before this. Um, but we do have a chance to bring down the unrest in the fringe, which has been sitting at a pretty high, well, fairly high um, spot for a while. This will give us 20 Illyrium and 40 Intel, over this one which will give us 115 Intel and four, 40, uh, no, wait, how much Intel is going to give us? 115 plus the 40 from the field team is probably what it is. Technology, yeah, I guess, I don't know. But, we're going to get into one of these missions, I think. We have 30 minutes, it says it's difficult. How many encounters is it supposed to be? Two projected encounters, so we probably do have time to finish this one. Maybe we'll see uh, more of Axiom in this one. Hopefully so. Uh, targeting scope. Targeting system. Mockweave is not something I want you to have. I want... I'll give Godmother the Mockweave. I'll give you the extra pattern. And then you can take the... Frag Grenades and the Trank Rounds. And I think we're ready to get into it, right? We don't have any more weapons. We do have three shotguns on this one team, though. So, I guess it's the shotgun squad today. Hostiles bunched up on the target device. Okay, so targets are bunched up. It looks like we might have a door entrance right here. Side window. No, these are all windows. Okay. Earns entrance here. Plus three for the round. For the round. Surprise shots. I think he has the best aim now since he got the stuff off of terminal. Which is includes us. Oh no, we want him to go through here for the plus in defense. Godmother's pretty good at hitting those shots. I guess the extra mobility is fine. Since it's only for the round, it's not really something that I'm worried about. And we'll send him through. Well, actually, we want her to go first. So yeah, I think this order's fine. Breach! 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 Keep behind me. He was okay. Whatever. Um, do you have anything that might survive? Because her shot will stun if it hits. Uh, and hitting this thing, it's five to... No, actually, we can't kill this thing. Well, we can if we do more than just the base level of damage. I'm going to go for this one, though. Okay, still killed. Uh, you can take him out. Your chances are only on the Hitman, so we're going to take that shot. That's an easy choice. A lot of criticals this time. Uh, ooh, the damage is going to be extremely high in this, too, because of all the shotguns. I wish this Ronin would run up, too. With Axiom on the team, I think I'm less afraid of the Ronin and what he has going on. We can immediately grab this thing, too, because we have the plus mobility for Godmother. Go ahead and touch it. Okay, she doesn't have the magazine anymore. Oops, I don't know what I just clicked on accident. Okay. Running gun comes from the shotgun, I believe. We can use ventilate on that thing, which will kill it. Taking it out of the turn order. What? If, what how likely are we hit with a normal shot? Not bad. Her subdue, she's out of range to subdue. That's why I did that, okay. 
Hmm. I think I'd rather hit with this. Try and hit with this. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're not missing shots today. You can move up on them. They're out in the open, too. Uh, I don't want to drop the sticky grenade on them. Will this go off before the turn? No, it'll go off just after. But we can do. We can drop the plasma grenade plasma on out. them. And then we can immediately take the shot on them. 100% chance to hit, high chance to crit. Didn't crit. Not bad though, because then we can come up with... Can she hit him with a stupor? Oh, not a stupor. Damn. Stasis, stupor, whatever. Target is under Back arrest. to unconscious. We got another achievement. We got a lot of achievements in these last... I don't know if it was just this one, but the last three videos, I guess, since I've recorded three back-to-back. -back. I can't remember which happened and what. All right. Let's you know those entries is marked until the end of the turn at the end of the encounter. And let you know those entries gets plus one armor for the encounter. So we'll start with Claymore. He has the bonus at this entrance. We'll give her which one? I can't tell which one. Oh, this one is better because it increases our chance to do to critical. And then we'll have Godmother and Axiom is gonna go through last to get the plus uh, to his armor. Clearing a path. And I'm actually gonna try and have him berserk this time and see. If that can be uh, something that we can work to work with, or if it's going to be something that's debilitating for us, that explosion probably peaked out higher than I was talking. Actually, uh, thinking about it too. Um, yeah, we'll take that shot. Might as well. Yeah, these shotguns are the the mastercrafted shotguns are probably finna go crazy once we get them. Them in the distance. No, we want to stay on the on the guardian. Let's hope we hit with this. Alright, cool. We got the Guardian down, so we don't have to worry about the shield that they're finna get. And then, yeah, we took, we took out a lot of stuff in that one. I have the target. Bust it up. Destroy the power core to stop reinforcements. Okay, who can you see with this? You can see an Andromeda. So we do have to deal with at least one still, I guess. And then we have this trooper here. Why is it only going to do one damage to the trooper? Who knows? Maybe when it hits, it's going to deal that damage. I'm scared of that thing moving towards us, though, since we know that it, it's not for sure going to back up. Uh, where can I get this plasma grenade to land? I'm going to have it land right on top of him. Throwing plasma. Okay, I'm fine with that. Then you can drop shrapnel right here. And take the shot on it too. Explosive out. Have this detonate immediately to deal that extra damage to the uh what is that? The bruiser, I think it is. And then also kill the um the trooper. Okay, interesting way to display that. You can do chaining jolt all the way back on that thing. Or you can use Banish on the Andromeda. But it's not it's not as likely to hit. I want to move you up. That's going forth, and then the Andromeda is next. So I do want to move you over to here. And we want to start trying to take shots on the thing that we came to do, to get. But we can't see it yet, so that's annoying. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to Banish the Andromeda. And try and not have to deal with any of it shit. Okay. That's one. Two. It's still up, isn't it? Okay, so now it's broken. So again, I don't I don't understand what the Andromeda are, but as you can see, it's, whatever is inside of this is it's a mech suit, so whatever is inside of it is now dead since we broke the glass around it but the mech suit is still alive and it's still an enemy we can potentially hack it though with uh or we can ventilate on it Ooh, ooh, and take it out that's if it takes it out though or we can move godmother up i'm gonna use running gun taking action after dashing clearing a path 
That's probably a dangerous spot to run all the way over to. Oh, I forgot about the number two. Damn. I think I'm still going to make the move up to here, though. That's probably going to put her in danger from the Andromeda. Cover me. But I'm trying to get an angle on this thing that we're supposed to be taking out. Which I still don't actually have. And I lost my angle on the Andromeda. Can I get a... No, because the door is closed. That's the issue. Damn. Um... We can still drop the acid grenade on them. Can we get it in such a way where it doesn't damage Throwing us? Grenade. Okay. Now I can use scatter shot, but it's not gonna hit the Andromeda. I can overwatch into this room. But I don't know which way the Andromeda's gonna take. If it comes on the right side of us, well I guess the left side of left side of us, then it might hit. I'm better off. I think I feel. I feel better off just using preparation. Uh, no one has that armor piece that negates the damage from that. I'm gonna throw a frag grenade at this door to blow that door open. That way we have a sight now on what we came to do, right? Or at least the cobra who's in there. We use Psychop first, too. Who wants some? If it's, it's when he takes damage. So now he has the acid burn effect. Ah, flesh wound. You're no good if you bleed out. Alright, can we get a grenade all the way in there? We can't. But we can get a sticky grenade onto them. Which is definitely something I want to do. And that's gonna blow up before Axum gets his next turn. So I don't wanna I don't wanna do that one. Godmother's right there, so it's gonna take out her cover. If I can move up to here, yeah I can. I can move up to here. He's he has it, okay. I couldn't I can't remember who had that. You can take a shot on the Andromeda. You can take the shot on the thing that we came to take out. Can I put a sticky grenade on it? I can't. I can only fire my weapon at it. I'm gonna do that though. And we'll see what this Andromeda gives us. I'm not really excited to see. That's not keep me down. terrible. That's not good. Oh, it's definitely not good either. I think maybe I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try and rely on patchwork to Um there's no cover from that right there. I'm gonna rely on Patrick to potentially uh, take the Andromeda. And you can take your shot on, okay, I guess we can't see anything else. We can force the Andromeda to move. Or I can make her prepare again. Or I can overwatch into there. I can't, I don't know why our, our sights into there are so terrible. 37%? 100% the heck. Uh, we might as well take it, I guess. No, we got it? Wild. Right? Did we get it? We did. Interesting. I'll move over to here. He took four damage on his turn. He's ruptured. Why can't you use smash? No target available? Oh, he's rooted. Damn. I guess fire the weapon at that thing. Psych up also. Damn, that rooting effect really ruined the whole... The whole plan I had for uh, Axiom to go berserk in here. And he's still rooted too, is the worst part. Eradicating. On Godmother, damn. No We're taking complain. a lot of damage in this one. No need to complain. Alright, he doesn't have anything to heal. Godmother, I think, does, so we can at least heal that damage back up and get it to a, probably a lightly wounded. Maybe. 
and we're going to use preparation. <sighs> That's annoying though, all the damage that we just took. What does this say? Fist strike? So we can't do a fist strike then. Ooh, he did run past uh, Godmother. So Godmother probably is stuck in that position now. We can heal her back up so she'll hopefully take a little less damage. Overall at least. Then one less target. Did that one. That was impressive. Alright, so yeah, okay, it still counted as wounded for her, but she at least didn't go down. Hopefully we don't get a scar on that one, and we'll see what occurs after this. Alright. Oh, Advin used... I keep forgetting to read this thing. Advin used to... Advin used to house us in the fringe's cramped old world building. Then the war ended, Advin went to, to detention camps, and everyone in the fringe moved to Advin's now vacant Highland Square homes. So where did all the former Advin go to when the camps let them out? You guessed it. The same buildings they forced us to live in during the occupation. That's only fair. That's actually pretty... That Yeah. You force these people to live in hobbles in the lowest of the low so you get those things now close combat so gamma takes reaction shots at enemies that get too close requires ammo or if godmother downs an enemy during their turn the next attack against them will miss if godmother downs an enemy during her so if she downs an enemy during her turn the next attack on her will also miss that's useful because then that that works well with ventilate because our ventil yeah no it is ventilate i was going to start sounding it out like i was saying it wrong so if she runs up on something uses ventilate the next person to shoot her will miss so that's pretty useful uh upgrade smash to apply a small amount of damage to nearby enemies the extra target the extra targets also have t a chance to become disoriented or rendered unconscious that's pretty good uh axiom has a chance to reduce the damage from in an incoming attack by one. I'm not really concerned with him reducing it. I think the shockwave is going to be better because we've been seeing a lot of enemies grouped up recently. Okay. We have our master crafted armor. Improved spec ops. Allows two agents to be assigned to spec ops. We're going to get that next. I did say I was going to get the master crafted shotguns, but that's going to mean that we can get a lot more out of spec ops than just having one person in at a time. Uh, she's almost done with her unlock potential. That's still hidden. We can use Dragnet to get the intel from this also. This is the last one that we have to bring to up to level 2. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We want more intel. So we're going to send the Dragnet there. Yeah. Dragnet. I keep calling it Dragnet. I don't know why. So we got that also. Uh, we're doing pretty good for our... City unrest and Cherub is finna finish this. Um, uh, damn, I didn't put him in that one. Wait, no, I did. Yeah, it reduces all. So he's he's finna finish this. So it's gonna bring everything down to at least two at that point. Yeah, everything at most is gonna be two because of Old Town. So we're doing pretty good still. We have improved spec ops going. He's gonna finish his spec ops. She's gonna finish her training. Let's go ahead and buy the master crafted armor. Which allows for plus one armor for everybody and plus one utility shot for everybody, plus three HP for everybody. So that's pretty good for us to be to have now. I don't think we have anything else we want to buy. Verge is idle, but uh, once we finish this assembly, we'll be able to uh, make use of all of our people. All right, uh, but that's, that's that's probably it. A fire broke out in the city impound facility, storing some restricted tech. If we respond immediately, we could help. Contain the blaze and salvage some valuable materials. So, on the French Riverside, all went down to zero. Unrest in downtown went to one, two, one, one. So yeah, the highest we have now is two, which is what I was hoping to see. Well, not even hoping to see. I knew we would see. Because you think I know the truth, or because I'm familiar? Hmm? Entertaining. See, that's how it works. You trust the voice on the radio, then it asks you to do things, little things. You don't mind. The voice on the radio, it's your friend. You can give some leeway to a friend. You tell him, Floyd. You're the only one who knows the truth. Well, you know what? I don't. I 
I know how we conquered your world. Telling you we knew the truth was a big part of that. So never listen to a voice on the radio that claims to know the truth. Ooh. Instead, think for yourself. That's some information that can be useful for America right now. Because everybody's trying to focus on thinking to, towards some political thing. Or since this person thinks that, I'm also going to think that. Just find stuff out on your own. If you believe the same thing as someone because you found it all out on your own, that's one thing. But believing it just because you're told it is a whole another issue that needs to be investigated further. Another epic pistol... I'm not inclined to get that. I really don't like people, well, not people who use pistols, but the pistols themselves don't seem to be as useful, especially since we only have the one now. District unrest in all places is brought down by one. I want Cherub on the team now. I'm tired of uh, not having him on the team. So you can come out, Claymore. Does Claymore have any more uh, training he can do? Basic conditioning. Can everyone do that? Interesting. But I'm going to put um, Terminal in because I did say, oh, she's done. Okay, then Claymore gets to go in. Begin your training. Uh, and here we'll have Terminal. And she can get us another free field team. Because our intel is starting to run low because we keep buying those new field teams. And you can begin on that. And then Verge is still idle. Yeah, but that's going to be all for this uh, episode. Thanks for watching. I'm actually done recording for today. Uh, to help my family move soon so that's also part of why I've been recording so much and then start studying for finals as well since that's not actually far away after this week compared to the timeline that I'm thinking it's not far away it is like a month and a half away or something like that but that goes quick sometimes so thanks for watching don't forget to follow my other socials in the description below um yeah I think that's really it. Follow the socials below. Recommend my channel. That'll help. I can't. I'm pretty sure the search engine still doesn't allow me to be searched. My videos are usually longer, so they're less recommended. So the f best way for me to grow right now is to have people recommend it. Have people recommend me. If you don't mind. I'm not really trying to force you or nothing, but it'll help out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.